Cassie. Mm. That was amazing. Mm. Cassie? Mm. Cassie. Mm. Will you go out with me? No. Comic consequences. Thrown right into the well. Thrown right into the well with no care. Reborn every minute. And changing the way that you think. Put a new spin on it. Your way wins. Your way wins. Past two years. They have been so much abroad. Cassie. What are you doing? Hello, Josh. I'm doing my ritual. Ritual? Yes. My body is a pure temple and any defilement will make it unclean. I'm re-virginating. re, -virginating. re, re -virginating? Yes. I'm reclaiming my virginity. <sighs> I think you're a little late for that. Remember last night around 10.30? Josh. And then again around 11.15? Josh! Then twice more after midnight? Josh! This is really important. You can't keep interrupting, okay? No, no, go on. I'm curious to learn how to, uh, re-virginate yourself. Josh? Yeah? I need you for the final part of the ritual. Do I need to come over there? Yes. Come here. Now. What do you need me for? Human sacrifice? No, I need to do it with someone to complete the ritual. Wait, you need to do it to re-virginate yourself? This is serious! What if I want to be a nun someday? I have to be a virgin. Now, are you going to do me or not? Wow! Is that what it's called these days? I've done a lot of re-virginating too. Mitch, this could be a major opportunity. I mean, every time she needs to re-virginate, I just go over and help her out. Are you the only one who's re-virginating her? I don't know. She says she doesn't want to date me, though. So, I could go over there and re-virginate her, too? It's not like that, man. It's part of her ritual. <laughs> She says it's like a holy thing with me, like like having sex with me is like not having sex at all. Well, there's something to brag about. Best out of three? Sure. <clears throat> Still, there's something sort of off about the whole thing. No way! Yeah! What is it? Oh. Well, she... You ready? Hell yeah! It's just... She's really weird. In what way? Well, she won't go out with me. Yeah, but how is she weird? Well, I mean, she's single, I'm single. We're friends, so there's no big jump from friendship Wrong. to it. There's a big jump from friendship, too. Ready? Yeah. So, we can do it, but there can't be any feeling. There can be feeling. She just doesn't have to share it. Hello? Yeah, Cassie. Cassie, come down. I'll be right over. I've got to go. Stand. Shake hands. Good boy.
What's wrong, Cassie? Oh, Josh, how could you? Well, well, what is it? What happened? That! Oh, sweet Maria, what'd you eat? A small dog? Man, I eat. You sick bastard. I didn't do this. You did. No, you left this party. I most certainly did not. I haven't taken a dump like that since Tijuana. Well, I didn't do it. It didn't just appear out of nowhere. Oh, well, maybe it did. We're living in amazing times. Girls can read Virginia. Feces appears out of nowhere. You made this. You clean it up. For the last time, it isn't mine. Now help me try to flush it. along with me today on my super secret spy mission, but I think you better go see about cutting down on your fiber intake. For the last time, it wasn't me. Maybe it's some other guy that comes over and unvirginates you. No, you're the only one that comes over and impurifies my body. <sighs> well, then maybe it was an evil toilet spirit. I heard about something like that in Popular Mechanics. Bye, Josh. Oh, what was that you said about a spy mission? I'd bring you along, but you just screw it up. Women make much better spies. Well, what are you spying on? It's super secret. Well, wait just a minute. I'm the guy that purifies your body right after defiling it. I have a right to know. There she is. It's her. Who? Oh, look at her butt. It's definitely her. Who? Seriously, you don't know? No, I've never seen her before. Oh, that's because you've never seen her without her makeup and her hair's dyed way darker now. Come on, you don't know, really? No, I have no idea. That's Wanda Gallagher. Wanda G, the singer, the actress. She's huge. You don't recognize her? Are you for real? What the hell would Wanda G be doing? In our neighborhood, I can't flip and believe this. Cassie, I think you're nuts. Okay, confession time. Despite my hatred of teeny boppers, I happen to be a closet fan of Wanda. I know all the words to practically all her singles. My condolences. And you remember, right? A few months back, she was interviewed in Rolling Stone, and she said she needed to take a break from her singing career for a I... while. She said, quote, I'm so high strung that I need something low-key, something in a quiet, unassuming suburban neighborhood where I can hear kids playing and dogs barking. End quote. I don't hear any dogs barking. As a, in fact, I, I figured she'd be in a state where she hadn't toured before, and here she is! I know that's her. I've seen the pictures of her without her makeup on. It's definitely her! I think you're nuts. Okay, how about a bet? Are you for real? I've never been more sure about anything in my whole life. <laughs> All right, you're on. What do you want to bet? Anything. You name it. Anything? <sighs> you were such a little boy. Yes, anything. All right. If I'm right, you have to go on an actual date with me. Fine. My god, you're desperate. But if you're wrong and I'm right, you have to do one thing of my choosing, no matter what it is, to be decided at a later date, okay? Sure. Great. Now go find out. What, me? Yes, you. I'm not going over there. What if I make an idiot out of myself? At least you don't like her, so you've got nothing to lose. No way. If it isn't her, she'll think I'm nuts. And if it is, she probably has an army of ninja bodyguards. Wanda's gone on record saying she likes pirates way more than ninjas. <laughs> No way. There, there's no way I'm going over there. Kitty, you're so close to getting a date with me. Best two out of three. Once, twice, three, shoot! Once, twice, three, shoot! Once, twice, three, shoot! Onward! Fine, but you're gonna regret this. Before you go and prove me right, do you prefer Italian or Chinese for a date? Because I enjoy both. Then enjoy dining solo. Back in a minute, darling. So? So, I think I'll order in sushi while you're out by yourself. No way! It was not her! It was! Come back here! She said she didn't want me telling anyone! She's gonna write a song about how I betrayed her trust! The 
Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Josh, and I, I just wanted to welcome you to the neighborhood one. I... Ooh, thanks. So what do you want me to do? Oh, you'll be my slave soon enough. But right now, I have to figure out how to get Wanda to like me. I... Hello? Calm down, man. You what? <sighs> oh my god, are, are you okay? What happened? It's okay, I'll be all right. I just have to relax here. Do you need help getting up? It's okay, just stay here. I might need your help. Do you want me to call you an ambulance? No! My God, your crotch is bleeding. What, what happened? I, I got myself caught in my pants zipper. Your pants don't have a zipper. I was just playing the guitar. I tripped on something on the deck and I just... Dude, why are your guitar strings so loose? What? The, the, they're loose? Dude, that's sick! I, I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm leaving. Wait, wait, just a second. Let me explain. Okay, you know how a guitar looks like a woman, right? It has a shape like an hourglass, and it has a hole, and... It's a guitar! Give me a break. I've had a dry spell for months, okay? I went online, I found this group called Instrument Love. The people who are totally turned on by guitars and tubas and flutes. What? It's not like that for me, man. I'm not into that weird kind of stuff. It's just my guitar, you know? I respect it a lot, but it seems built for that kind of thing. So when I went on the internet and I found the group, they gave all kinds of tips to make it totally incredible. Everybody who has an instrument does it. Everybody! What are you talking about? You and, and a guitar? A, a guitar? Are you out of your mind? Look, you can borrow it if you clean it up. What do you want me to do? Look, I'll be okay. I just need you to go get me some first aid cream or some peroxide. I just don't want to get tetanus or something. I have a first aid kit in my car. Oh, I gotta watch it. I'm, like, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, do you need first aid or something? I have this kit. No. Is everything okay? Yeah, my dumb friend just needs some peroxide and gauze or something. I'm really sorry about bumping into you. Oh, no, don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. Can I, can I help? Hey, Mitch, this is Wanda, my friend. She's gonna help us out. Hey. Oh, my God, you're Wanda G. Wanda G! I love you! I totally have all downloaded all your MP3s. I even have a poster of you somewhere. You're totally awesome! Roll over. What happened? I was playing one of your songs on my guitar and I just slipped. He was doing his guitar and cut himself on the strings. <laughs> Roll over. <laughs> all right, you're all set. Just stay off of it for a few days and, uh, Call if you need anything. Then practice safe sex. <laughs> so I have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of your music. No, well, neither am I. All my songs are written by two 50-year-old guys. A 50-year-old guy wrote, my boobs are big, my butt is tight, my curves are soft and feel just right. Actually, that one is true. Frank's boobs are bigger than mine. <laughs> so you're just eye candy. No, I'm selling an image. Girls everywhere aspire to be independent and strong like me. Take me out and buy me things, give me gold and diamond rings. I thought you weren't a fan. Um, uh, Mitch makes me uh, listen to your music mm -hmm. sometimes. Hello? Are you done at Mitch's? I'm still on my stakeout over here. She went out jogging earlier and hasn't come back yet. When are you getting back here anyway? Um, uh, no, I, it's, it's gonna take a little longer than I thought. Um, you, you go on without me. Lying to your girlfriend? Cassie's not my girlfriend. I, I don't know what she is to me exactly. I, we've been friends since high school, and we just kind of hang out. 
Hold on. Well, do you guys? Uh, oh no no no, no 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 no! It, it's not like that. Okay. Um, uh, do you have friends or family around here? No, I just wanted to be on my own for a while. I was really beginning to feel like I had five or six personalities, and I'm starting to lose the sense of who I am. You know what I mean? I guess. Uh, although I'm sure people underestimate how difficult it must be doing what you do. You know, no privacy. Yeah, I've spent my entire life pretending to be somebody that I'm not. I mean, my parents have always put me in talent competitions and, and voice lessons before I even said my first word. What was your first word? Oprah. But people think it's easy to be me. I mean, don't get me wrong, money's great. But if that's all you have, then that's all you have. I guess. Uh, I don't know. I, I just think someone like you could buy happiness. Don't even start on that. Uh, hey, uh, can I treat you to some ice cream? Ice cream makes everything better. Abacus to calculate my calculable hotness. Do me, Mitch! Do me! You're hotter than liquid nitrogen! Okay. I need to lose weight. Then we can be together. you decide to live here? Well, I wanted some place secluded, but still civilization. Somewhere quiet, but not too quiet, you know what I mean? I do. I mean, I think it's pretty fun around here, but I guess it's pretty tame compared to what you're used to. I mean, that's exactly my point. This is the first time since, since ever. I mean, this is the first time I've woken up without an alarm clock. I mean, this is the first place that I've been able to wake up and not have to worry about going to some photo shoot or making some public appearance. I mean, I hate people. Really? Yes, all of them. I'm sorry. What, what is it that you do? I'm a suburban caretaker. Is that like a grave digger or something? No, it means I go over to people's houses and take care of them. So, you're a nurse? No, no, I take care of the houses, not the people. Like, I clean their gutters, cut the grass. Yeah. Oh. So you're a lawnmower. A suburban caretaker. Yeah, and I'm an opera singer. You are? I wish. About a year or so ago, I went behind my agent's back, and I went to the head of the Los Angeles Metropolitan Opera House. And he basically laughed in my face when I told him that I wanted to give up my singing career and become an opera singer. Really? Yeah. You know, there's something so beautiful and so organic about opera singing. I really. There really is nothing artificial about it at all. I mean, I'll always be typecast as that girl who had butter smeared all over her during one of her music videos. Um, which video was that? Never mind. Um, no, no, I, I think it's, it's a great dream to have. Uh, you know, I'm sure if you made inquiries to the right people, um, you'd get right on that opera stage. Yeah, I just want to be somewhere where people aren't going to constantly recognize me and scream, hey, I know you, and most of all, I just, I'm so tired of people asking me to sign their ass. Oh, and, and I was going to ask you to sign my ass. It's for my niece. <laughs> Hello? Wait, you, you what, again? Yeah, I'll, I'll be right over. What, is somebody's grass a little too high? No, but I'm gonna have to cut this short. Okay. Um, can I see you again? Sure. You can stop by my house anytime. But you have to bring some ice cream. Hey. Hey. Where were you? I was helping, Mitch. What's going on here? 
Sweet Maria, you, you did it again and you called me here to look at it? Now this is too much. It's bigger than you are. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You pollute my upstairs and my downstairs toilets. This is disgusting. I'll say. This is hideous. Why'd you call me over to look at your dump? It wasn't me. If I did it, I wouldn't have called you over here to look at it. That's more like something you would do. You've done it before. Back then I was trying to impress you. Well, your crap doesn't impress me anymore. Just flush it and stop doing it, okay? It wasn't me. It had to have been you. I'm not even gonna... That does it. It's time for some drastic measures. Ooh, not mine. In your face. Guess we know it's you dumping the Serengeti out of your ass. But it's not mine either. It's three in the morning. How much longer do we have to wait? As long as it takes. We're gonna catch whoever's doing this red-handed, so you might as well get comfortable. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I'm the only person that lives here. Shh! You hear that? What was that noise? I'm turning off the lights. Are there any sandwiches left? You ate them all in the first five minutes. Oh yeah. Hey, you want to do it? Sure, there's nothing like waiting for a stranger to take a giant dump to get me in the mood. So you want to do it then? Ow! Shh! Something's coming. Oh my god, it was your cat! I have a cat? Well, I'm turned on. <laughs> I gotta get over to the woods, man. I'm totally freaking out here. Josh, I'm not gonna reverginate myself. Get in here. I'm a little indisposed at the moment. Can you give me 20 minutes? 20 minutes? What are you doing over there? The SATs? All right, I'm here, so let's- She'll hear us! Who am I here, and why are you walking funny? Are you pregnant? I got me a case of the hot lap! Hot lap? Yeah, yeah! This morning, I was out of cereal, so I heated up some oatmeal I found in the cupboard. All went according to plan. <laughs> so I had me a bad case of the hot lap. Still smarts a bit, though. Yeah, okay, uh, so, so what's the emergency? Follow me. big deal about some weirdo in a cape. Don't you remember that story from when we were kids, the Green Witch of the Forest? Um... Look, back when the British founded this place, there was a woman that lived here. Her lover got lost in the forest, so she put on a green cloak and went out looking for him. And she never came back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember now. There have been sightings for like the last 400 years, but I've seen her three times since yesterday. How do we know she's just not someone out meditating or something? Because I get a chill every time I see her. It's just not natural. <laughs> it is if you're a wuss. Fine then, you go talk to her. No way, I'm a wuss. Get off me! Go back and talk to her, you might get laid. With some chilly-ass ghost bitch? I'll stick to my guitar, thank you. 
Wanda? Wanda! Josh, there's got to be a better way to bump into me. Sorry, we were... Oh, and Mitch, I meant to tell you. Yeah? I saw this hot acoustic number down on the corner of First and Main. If you hurry, she still might be there. Really? So what are you guys up to? There's this weird lady in the woods that freaked us out. The one in the green cloak? Like in the legend? Yeah, how do you know about her? I thought that was just a local legend. I researched a bunch of places to live before coming here and read about it when checking out this town. You guys saw her just now? Yeah, it was definitely her. She was wearing this green cloak and, and there was this weird sound and... Yeah, it was definitely her. A real, live ghost. Can you show me? Well, it seemed kind of dangerous and we wouldn't want you to. I'll take you, Wanda. Why, thank you, Mitch. Can you take my arm in case I get scared? It would be an honor, Wanda. Why, thank you, Mitch. So, then what did you do? I told her flat out. I was like, you've got to stop haunting these woods. People could get scared and all. Oh, that's so brave. And what did she say to that? You know, typical ghost kind of stuff. Woo! She flew around a few times. She flew around my head. Oh, that's so courageous. And what was Josh doing the whole time? And Josh, he was hiding in the leaves. Really? Yeah, I think he peed himself. <laughs> hey, wait, wait a minute. Shh, we're here. Mitch, go talk to her. Josh, you go talk to her. What? No way, coming back here was your idea. You go. She's probably tired of talking to me. You go. You've never spoken to her. You're bigger than I am. You go. I think the lady should go. What? I meant Josh. I think the lady should decide. Wanda, which one of us should go and talk to the ghost? Josh should. Remember, you like me more. I think you boys should shoot it out. Oh, you're going down, pig fat. I eat pig fat for breakfast. Once, twice, three, shoot! Paper beats loser, you go. Hey, best out of three. You never called that. All right, then, uh, best out of three that we do best out of three? Hello? I'm Josh. Josh. Hey, you want to make out? Uh, no! No. I meant with me. I'm a suburban grounds engineer. I come home smelling like pine trees, so I save money on deodorant. Do you wear deodorant? Hello? I need you to meet me at Wanda's. I'm using that favor you owe me. You have to ring her bell again and tell her that I'd make a great friend. Cassie? And then we have to go back to my place. I don't think today's revirgination took. I still feel filthy with your seed. I can make it in a little bit. Can it wait? No, this can't wait. Who is that? Who, who is who? Stop! There! I just heard her again. Are you with someone else? No, no, that, that's just the um, uh, t TV. Aha! A sword! That was you in the woods! The plot thickens! What are you talking about? I wasn't in the woods. Hmm. The plot thickerens. You were watching TV out in the woods and didn't invite me? We weren't watching TV and... What's with the sword? Hello! It's for protection. I'm a single girl out here all alone and... Oh my god! Wanda! Wow. That's a nice sword. I named it Wanda! Wow, um... 
I love your song, Don't Get Plump. It really, really speaks to me. Well, thanks. <laughs> if you're fat, that sucks. If you're thin, that's cool. Don't get plump. Don't get plump. I, I, um... If your large is a barge foot, what done, charge? Don't get plump. Don't get plump. There you are. What are you doing outside without your leash and collar? See, now, my favorite song of yours is High Heels Cause Cavities. That's not even one of my songs. You were hanging out with Wanda and didn't tell me? Ow, my teeth! It must be those heels! Don't get plump. You totally have to sign my ass. Ugh. And you, I have a good mind to make you reverginate me twice more today for keeping Wanda a secret. I'm sorry, reverginate you? Yeah, every time we do it, we undo it, so we never did it. Every time you do it? Well, it isn't quite like that. Twice more today? Is that too few? At least three times, then, for good measure. Wanda, it isn't, I mean. Uh -oh. So what are we gonna do about the ghost? Ghost? Yeah, we found a ghost in the woods. Well, do you know her? She has a sword too. Ooh, let's go see her. Wanda, Don't bother. I... I'm sorry. I, I thought, I just, I don't know what I thought. I mean, who am I to interfere with what you and Cassie have going on? It's not like that, Wanda. I mean, you're, you're just so down to earth and I've, I've really loved getting to know you. I, I really like you. So much that you lie to me? You're just like all the other guys I've ever met. They're only nice to you when it's convenient. And once they've gotten what they wanted, there goes anything special. You? You're just like the rest of them. You're nothing special at all. I, Wanda, I'm, I'm sorry. I am special. You make me special. Forget it. Let's just go on like nothing happened, okay? Shh! There she is! Her outfit is so last year. What are we gonna do, man? We can't let some ghost take our wrestling spot? I don't know, she could be dangerous. I think we all should catch her. What? what? Good point. You guys catch her. I'll supervise. Why do you want us to catch her? I've always wanted an exotic pet, but I don't think you're housebroken. I'm working on it. What if she kills us? Ghosts can't kill you, it's against the law. Works for me. Hey, you! I didn't catch her. We need a plan. That sounds expensive. No, I have one. Mitch, you and I come back here tonight under cover of darkness. What about us? You stay home. This could be too dangerous. No way. And let you get all the glory? I don't think so. Glory? You know how you can return bottles at a supermarket for a five cent refund? Hell yeah! Well, ghosts are worth a quarter. So we'd have to split a quarter four ways. What's a fourth of a quarter? Four quarters? Yeah! So what are you gonna do with your quarter? I'll probably invest it. You should invest it. Wanda, you don't have to come. This could be really dangerous. Sure, you probably just want me out of the picture so you can go back to undoing Cassie. You know that's not true. I'm sorry I lied to you. The only reason I agreed to catch a stupid ghost is because you suggested it. Give me a chance. Fine. If you catch this thing tonight, I'll give you another chance. But I'm coming with you guys. Wanda, didn't you write a song about a ghost? Uh. Come on, gang, shout out, let's hear it, scream it loud, cause we've got spirit. Ooh. Yeah, that's my ghost song. It freaked me out really bad the first time I heard it. All right, we'll meet by the main road at nine o'clock tonight. Bring some flashlights and blankets. I'll go over the plan then. Sounds good. Ready, break.
Mitch. What are you doing here? You're early. Can I come in? It's real important. Yeah, yeah, sure. Come on in. So, what's up? You got somebody pregnant? Don't be coy with me, lady. What are you talking about? Do you remember when we bumped into Cassie outside of the forest and you fell on top of me? Yes. Well. Afterwards, I went home and I got a little bit bored. So I tested myself and it turns out that I'm pregnant. So since you were the only one close enough to get me pregnant... Um... I can understand how having a child would cramp your style, you being an international megastar and all. But I'm a devout Catholic and I'm going to have this baby. You can pay me child support in monthly installments or a lump sum, if you prefer. Mitch, if you wanted money, all you had to do was ask. Oh. Can I have money? No. Good evening to you, miss. Do you happen to have any pesky cash lying about? Allow me to help. So after dinner, I think we have just enough time to go upstairs and undo last night's shenanigans before we go catch that ghost. Cassie, I can't. Oh, don't worry. I have an air pump that'll help you out. It was my dad's. No, I mean, I can't do you or undo you. Not ever again. What? You're not going to help cleanse me of your filth? Now wait just a minute. Aside from the syphilis, my sperm is squeaky freaky clean. Oh, calm down. I don't really have syphilis. Man, my herpes is really acting up. Well, if you won't undo the damage you caused, then who's gonna clean me out? Who? 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 Hello? Hey, Cassie. I was just calling to confirm 9 o'clock tonight. Yes, but I can't talk now. Josh, I will not go out ghost hunting while I'm pure. <sighs> Don't be like that, Cassie. We need all four of us if the plan is gonna work. I, I can't go outside like some cheap floozy. L.A. floozy or D.C. floozy? Oh, D.C. Oh. Hello? Hey, I couldn't help but eavesdrop. Could I be of any assistance? I, I don't know, Mitch. At least Josh is a practice expert. What do you know about doing it? Well, I know it's important to hold your instrument in just the right way, or else you might cut yourself on the strings. Finally! A guy who gets it. W where are you now? I'm at home. <laughs> Sweet Maria! We'll get here as soon as you can. I, I want to be pure before we go out and catch this ghost tonight. Hey! What took you? Guitar practice. Get in here. You should head out. We'll meet you at the forest at nine. Alright. So, um, what do you guys be up to? Hey. Hey. Wanda, so I... So what's the plan? Well, the four of us set ourselves up in a square formation around where the ghost usually appears in the clearing, and we wait there. And then right when the ghost walks through our target zone, we move in, take our blankets, and bam! Bam? Yeah, we catch the ghost with our blankets, like a net. Oh, it sounds good. Mm hmm So, Josh, why do you want to capture this thing anyway? I was just kidding when I said we should go and try and catch it. Well, I guess I just couldn't pass up a chance to impress you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God! You're Wanda G! We've been through this already. Yeah, now I'm just bored with you. So what's the plan, man? We each hide in a different spot around the clearing. Then right when the ghost passes between us, we catch her with our blankets. Ooh, just like ballet! Yeah. 
so I've heard. Let's roll. So Wanda, once we catch this ghost, we're all gonna be famous, just like you. Mm, yeah, just like me. This is just like your song, Catch It, Ghost in the Forest, Walk It, Carry It, Blankets. Um, I don't think I've ever sang a song like that, Cassie. I believe you just made that up. Wanda, don't be modest. It's a great song. Hey, what are we gonna do when we catch this thing? I don't know, I haven't thought that through. I kind of figured we'd just sell it to some TV station or something. Oh. Why? What'd you have in mind? Well, I just kind of figured we'd split her four ways. Like, you mean each of us take her for a day a week and then trade off? No. I was thinking, like, we'd split her into four pieces so we could keep her as, like, a little souvenir. Do you remember that time when we went looking for the ghost in the forest? Do you remember that time when we did that? That's now, Mitch. We're doing that now. Well, somebody is living in the past. Wait, you guys, I think you're all missing the biggest point here. I mean, if this thing proves the existence of an afterlife, this could level the very foundations of organized religion as we know it. I mean, can you imagine if we go public with tangible proof of a phantasmal encounter? Do you even know how it would change our political and social, our spiritual and international landscapes? I mean, this could potentially be the biggest news event in the entire history of our species, and it's happening right here, right now. Have you guys even taken a moment to think about that? At all? Anyone? Big deal. One time I swallowed an entire grape without chewing it. Everyone down! Okay, we're close to where it appears. Mitch, you take the southwest corner. Cassie, you take the northeast, and I'll take the northwest. Wanda, you stay here in the southeast corner. When I give the signal, we move in and catch this thing. Take your positions. Wait, what's the signal? The signal should be when Josh says, get your flashlights and blankets ready. I hear the ghost, so let's prepare to catch her with minimal fuss and maximum efficiency. Why not something simple like, go? Well, Wanda, that's hardly descriptive enough for what we want done. But it'll work. Be careful. Okay, hold it down tight, but peel back some of the sheets. Let's check her out. <gasps> it's a chupacabra! Ah! Chupacabra, terror of the Southwest, bane of the farmer, scourge of goats. But we're not in the Southwest. A and we're not farmers. I know, and we're not goats either. It must have expanded its range farther north than any of my sources have anticipated. Are we in any danger? They only devour goats. And you just said we're not goats. So we're safe. Are you guys all right? I think so. I just wasn't expecting a Chupacabra on this expedition. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Really? You're not, like, totally freaked out? Not from that, no. Really? I can't believe it. We're all jumping out of our skin and you're just 
cool as a cucumber. Well, it was kind of freaky, but I think there are just some things that would scare me more. Really? Like what? Like car insurance premiums. Car insurance premiums? Yeah, specifically Mitch's car insurance premiums. What? Why am I? Well, I'd assume they'd skyrocket after your forthcoming case of vehicular manslaughter! I think that was the ghost. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, man. Pretty sure. Oh. Get it! Oh! That's it! Get it! Get it! Slayer! Rip her legs off! Get her! Mitch, calm come down! She isn't a ghost! What?! Oh, no. Is she dead? There's a weak pulse. Somebody's gonna have to give her mouth to mouth. Yeah, I agree. Someone is gonna have to give her mouth to mouth. You do it, you moron! You hit her! I thought she was a ghost. The car was supposed to go right through her. Do it or you'll be doing mouth to ass on yourself. On myself? On yourself. What if I'd rather do that? Do, do it. it! Why can't I just do that chest wacky thing? Clear! Oh, good job. Oh, you did. Oh, Go, Mitch. Yeah. <coughs> Can you hear me? <coughs> Give her a couple minutes. She's had a shock. Wait a minute. What? I know this girl. You do? Oh, yeah. There's no mistake. Who is she? Her name is Marissa. Marissa Ross. Ross? Mitch, that's your last name. I know. She's my sister. Your sister? Yeah, she went missing and I gave her up for dead, but this is definitely her. Oh my god, are you sure? I'm positive. This is amazing. When did she go missing? About three days ago. Three days ago? Yeah, it turns out I brought her to the woods and left her there because she stole my green cloak and sword and wouldn't tell me where she hid them. It's all coming back to me now. I can't help but feel that I'm somehow to blame for all of this. It's just survivor's guilt, buddy. I mean, we can still split her four ways if you guys want. That's if you're still interested in the idea. Well, I think I'm about ready for bed. Me too. Is Marissa gonna be all right? She's gonna be fine, isn't that right, sis? I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. Can I walk you home? That would be lovely. See you guys. Good night. How's it going? Oh, well enough. Mitch, Cassie, and Marissa are gonna be a little late. Seems they slept in. Lucky. Yeah. Look, about last night... I... Don't worry about it, Josh. I, I mean, I meant with what I said. It was really sweet of you to walk me home. I, I know, but... Josh, it's because I like you that I don't think we can be together. Trust me. The media would have a field day. They'd be slapping your face all over every tabloid, over every story, and I'd definitely be alienating some part of my fan base. And trust me, it's, it's better this way for the both of us. I know. I'm sorry. I've been having so much fun out here with you and your crazy friends. It's been like this huge inspiration for me. For the first time since ever, I've been living my life as opposed to looking at it through a porthole. I mean, I promise that I'll come back and visit after I go back to the city. Hey! Hey there. Hi, I'm, I'm Wanda. I don't know if you remember me from last night. Not really. All right, let's get her in through the window. But I did get a lot of rest, which 
it was nice. Days of running from raccoons and feasting on raw venison was getting me a little delirious. Did you end up killing Mitch? Oh no. He suffers a fate far worse than death. Where did she put them? Where are they? Marissa! So, how about you? Are you enjoying it here? I am, but my time here is going to be cut short. What? Why? My manager called me last night before we went out looking for Marissa, and he booked me a gig at Madison Square Garden. I'd be an idiot to pass it up. The thing is, it was so last minute that I've got to leave really late tonight for the city. But you just got here. I, I thought you were taking time off. I know, but I can't turn down Madison Square Garden. That would be professional suicide. So what's wrong with that? I, I thought that show business was driving you nuts. It is. But I can make an exception for something this huge. I mean, do you have any idea how big this could be? No. And I like it that way. Hey, want to come with us to glue Mitch's bedroom set to his ceiling? <laughs> That's great. Uh, how about it? Let's go. I can't. I have to go get ready to leave. <sighs> Whatever. Come on, Marissa. We'll get some ice cream on the way. Things been around the house. <laughs> Mitch has been acting all high and mighty ever since he got accepted to the Harvard Zoology grad program this fall. They really <laughs> liked his dissertation on the migratory habits of the chupacabra, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, whatever it is, he's been completely unbearable. Cassie's been avoiding him like the plague. <laughs> hey, baby, you want to get together with a Harvard man tonight? No, and for the last time, you don't have to call me. I'm in the kitchen. Is that a yes? So, how have you been? Can't complain. Started cyber dating this girl from Schenectady. We're meeting in a couple weeks. <laughs> right on. <laughs> so, how are you? Have you heard from Wanda? What do you think? <laughs> have you heard a new single? Cassie and Mitch play it non-stop around the house. I've been trying to avoid her stuff, if you know what I'm saying. Well, it's creating quite a buzz. She wrote it herself. You haven't even heard it? No. I think you'd like it. I don't think so. Suit yourself. Hey, Marissa. What's it called? Is that all this, Josh? Pink, it would be blue. 
I think it would fit. Look, I don't know. Oh. So that must be the pizza. I'm going to get it quickly before the balloon in the base. Yeah. Yeah. Josh is hugging the pizza guy. She She's headed for home.